Shalom, my friends. Uh, last uh, video I made, maybe even the last two videos, I'm not sure, I talked a lot about uh, faith. You have to uh, put your faith in Elohim and, and in nowhere else. And I, I also said that... Um, you know, faith is not something you can muster up. It's not something that uh, I can muster up for you. Um, it's not something you build yourself. It's purely a gift from Elohim. You have not because you ask not. Pray and ask the Father, O oh, Abba, give me faith. Um, and... Uh, I've been thinking uh, uh, it'd be uh, worthwhile for me to follow up on that. Uh, number one, because, uh, you know, when you pray and ask for faith, <laughs> some stuff starts to happen. And um, you, have to, uh, you have to be ready for it. <laughs> You know, I mean, if you ask the Father to give you more faith, He's probably going to put you in some situations that uh, test your faith a little bit so that you can learn. Um, that you, so that you can learn that you can put your faith in Him and that He is faithful and true, that he will not let you down. Um, another reason, number two, I might say, is that um, pretty much all the evangelists I can think of, or that I've seen, they all use this uh, thing from Romans 10, 17. Faith cometh by hearing, and hearing by the word of God, they say. And uh, they, do a, they do a bad thing when they do that. They get people to think that their faith is going to be increased by hearing the evangelist read the word of God to them. Um, and really, in a sense, they're lying to people because that's not what the Word is saying. Um, let me read it to you uh, first uh, in the uh, Hallelujah Scriptures. Romans chapter 10, verse 17. So then, belief, faith, comes by hearing, and hearing by the word of Yahweh. Faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of Yahweh. You know, and these evangelists, they pretty much are trying to get you to think that faith comes by hearing the word. Is that what I just read? I don't think so. Faith comes by hearing. That's one thing. And then hearing comes, oh, that's another thing, by the word of Yahuwah. This, uh, this is an interesting study. Um, let me read it to you in the uh, Aramaic. Uh, and then I'm going to start pointing some pretty cool things out. In the Aramaic it reads, uh, Therefore, faith, is from the hearing in the ear. <laughs> I like that. And the hearing in the ear is from the word of Elohim. Now, you know, it's pretty much saying the same thing. Faith is from the hearing, comes by hearing. Of course, that's your ear. And hearing in the ear comes from the word. 
So, number one, let's square this up. Faith does not come by hearing the word. You don't get faith by hearing me read you scriptures. It doesn't say faith comes by hearing the word. It says two things, that first faith comes from hearing, and then it says that hearing comes from the word of Yahuwah, or Elohim, same thing. So, faith, if you want faith, you have to hear. And if you want to hear, then um, you have to get the word of Yahweh. Now, what's the word? Because, you know, um, you can look at the word, word, in the scriptures, whether it's Hebrew or, um, or Greek, and there's variations, you know. Um, what we want to focus on is what is this word? Word. <laughs> um, that we're talking about here. Now, um, in, let's start off with the Greek. In the Greek, in uh, Romans 10, 17, it says, Faith comes by hearing, and hearing by the rhema of Elohim. The rhema. Uh, now, um, I like this one. The Greek word rhema uh, is, uh, is a real specific um, definition. And it's talking about, I guess the simplest way to put it is that it's talking about revelation. I've talked about this before uh, in, in a number of my videos. Um, and uh, hopefully you've experienced this yourself. If you've spent uh, much time reading uh, the Word, the literal Word, not the rhema, um, then you will have experienced the rhema. Uh, uh, a lot of times, you know, you're in the scriptures and you're reading something that you know you've read before, um, but this time it jumps off the page and it smacks you right in the kisser. Whoa! I never saw that before! You know, the first, when that first started happening to me, I used to say, you know what? I think he rewrites the book every time I close it. <laughs> you know, in a joking way, because um, I read scriptures that I know I've read before, and I'm seeing things that I know I've never seen before. Revelation jumps off the page. Um, you feel like, the, uh, the verse is speaking directly to you and about you. It's hitting you right in the heart. Revelation. Wow. And then, you know, what follows that is, you know, usually you never forget that scripture. That's when you start remembering uh, scriptures and addresses. Boy, Romans 10, 17. What? Well, I had this revelation. You know, faith doesn't come by hearing the word. Faith comes by hearing. And hearing comes by the rhema of Elohim. Uh, we're going to find out too that when we look at the Aramaic word and uh, get into the Hebrew letters and the meanings of the Aramaic Hebrew word, um, Yeshua is all over it. And we know Yeshua is the word of Yahuwah. He's the Word. <laughs> and um, so, faith comes by hearing. Now, we, we've, we, if you've read the Gospels, you've seen Yeshua saying a number of times, talking about people who have ears but they don't hear. Um, they have eyes, but they don't see. They have hearts, but they don't understand. Faith comes by hearing. So, um, I can read the scriptures to you all day long. And uh, you have ears. But that doesn't mean that you're hearing 
Uh, and if you're not hearing, then your faith is not going to be increased. When your faith has been growing, and of course you'll know when it is, then you'll know that, gee whiz, you've been hearing. Um, everyone has ears, but not everyone hears. Now, faith comes by hearing, not just physical hearing with the ear. Um, and then fo that follows by saying that hearing comes by the rhema, when, uh, when you're in the word and it jumps off the page and man, you know, you're moved, uh, you're having a revelation, uh, something is happening that you'll never forget. It's really meaningful that opens up your spiritual ears, that causes you to start hearing, and that hearing is what brings his gift of faith into your heart. I hope you're catching all this. I mean, isn't this... Um, isn't this something? Uh, so, when it says um, faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of Elohim, no, it says faith comes by hearing and hearing comes by the rhema, uh, the revelation that comes to you uh, from Elohim when you're reading the word. You could read the word and not have any revelation, not have any rhema, and that's not going to open up your ears. You know, you can go to church every Sunday for 45 years and listen to that guy up there reading from the book, and if you don't have any revelation kind of experiences, uh, your spiritual ear is not being open. You're not hearing anything, and your faith has never grown. So, faith comes by hearing, but you can't hear unless Elohim is speaking to you through his word and causing you to light up with revelation, um, exciting understandings that you've never understood before, seeing things in his word that you never saw before. That's what causes spiritual hearing. And that spiritual hearing is what brings his gift of faith into your heart. I know I just said that twice. It's good to repeat things. Now, in the Aramaic, um, the word for word is melta. It's uh, in Hebrew or Aramaic, it's spelled mem lamed aleph tav. <laughs> the aleph and tav are together. I am the aleph and the tav, Yeshua says. Yahweh says. I am the first and the last. I am the alpha and the omega. So it's Mem, Lamed, Aleph, and Tav. Now, Aleph and Tav, that's at the end of the word. Um, and that is Elohim. Because Yahweh is the Aleph and the Tav. Yeshua is the Aleph and the Tav. Um, I imagine... The Kodesh spirit is, he never said it because he doesn't speak. <laughs> the Kodesh spirit never speaks on his own. He only says what the Father tells him to say. I, he's the unnamed servant, you know. what? I know he has a name. His name has never been revealed to us. Of course, his name is Yahweh, <laughs> Elohim. But... Um, I can't wait for the Harpazo, man. I, you know, go to to uh, Shamayim and to meet the Kodesh spirit and to see him and and to hear him speak on his own, maybe for the first time. 
and to know, you know, his, his identity. Um, and I don't know that maybe that'll never happen, you know, because he is the father's spirit, the son's spirit. And um, maybe he uh, always maintains that same curious nature. Anyway, <clears throat> the uh, Aleph and the Tav is at the end of this word. It's talking about the father. It's talking about the son. It's talking about Elohim. Um, the first letter in the, in the word is Mem. And this represents the blood of the Lamb of Yahuwah. It also represents water, and, you know, water is the word. And, and so again, it's, you know, it's pointing at Mashiach. It's pointing at Yeshua, the word. This word, which we translate into English as word, in Aramaic is melta. It starts off with the word, and it, and it ends with the word. And in the middle is the letter Lamed. Now, this is the heart of the word. It's, it's in the middle. And Lamed is the, uh, represents the shepherd. I mean, the whole thing is pointing at Yeshua. Isn't that crazy? I mean, we already know this. He is the Word. But look at this, uh, um, the Kodesh language, how pure it is. Uh, you know, the Greek hints at it, you know, the rhema. Oh, this is not just the written Word. This is when the Word jumps off the page and it, it strikes you in the heart and talks to you personally. It comes alive. Oh, the living word, not just the written word. The Greek is kind of getting there. But boy, when you look at the Kodesh language, wow. I mean, it just keeps nailing it. There's only one way to look at it. It's talking about Yeshua. It's talking about Elohim, period. It's him dwelling in you in a new way. Lamed is also, it talks about the Torah, and it has to do with discipleship. It's shaped like the staff. Of course, I'm talking about the pictorial, original alphabet, the first alphabet Yahweh gave, uh, shaped like a shepherd's staff, Lamed. So, um, the original Aramaic word, uh, Melta, is uh, it's talking about the blood of the lamb. It's talking about water flowing, which is the word. We wash ourselves. Uh, that's mem. Then lamed. It's talking about the shepherd. Who is our shepherd? Yeshua. It's talking about the Torah. Yeshua is the Torah. He fulfilled it for us. And it's talking about discipleship. We are his Talmudim. Uh, and then finally, uh, the last two letters, the Aleph and the Tav, the Alpha and the Omega. Again, uh, Yeshua. Now, the other curious thing is um, the word faith only, only appears two times in the Old Testament. Deuteronomy 32, 20, which talks about those who have no faith. And uh, Habakkuk uh, 2, 4, where it talks about the righteous shall live by faith. Um, that reminds me of another scripture. We walk by faith, not by sight. We proceed on our path according to what we believe in our heart, not according to what we see with our eyes. Um, anyway, uh, the righteous shall live by faith. That word righteous is tzaddik, uh, Strong's H66, 62. 
It comes from the root Sadak, which is Strong's H6663, and it basically means to be justified. Um, righteousness is the English word, and um, I always say, Yahshua HaMashiach Nagid Sikenu. Yeshua, that's our Messiah. Hamashiach, the Messiah. Nagid, King of Israel. Tzikenu, our righteousness. He is our righteousness. And this word um, tzaddik, uh, or tzaddak, means to be justified. Um, are you righteous? If... Um, if Yeshua is your master, yes, you are righteous. He is Tzikenu, your righteousness. You have been justified because of him. So the righteous, that's you and me. If Yeshua is your master, if Yahweh is your only relationship that you care about in your life, um, it says, the righteous shall live by faith. Those are the only two places in the Old Testament where faith comes up. One of them talks about those who have no faith, and the other one talks about the righteous, those who uh, belong to uh, Elohim. They will live by faith. They will um, live their lives through their faith in Him, <clears throat> not through their faith in in the world, not through their faith in their paycheck or their job, not through their faith in their mate, not through their faith in their family members, not through their faith in their friends. The righteous live and walk by their faith in Him. Um, how do you get that? You want faith. How do you get faith? Faith comes by hearing. So, you want faith? You've got to be hearing. How do you hear? Hearing comes by the rhema of Elohim. Okay, I want to get hearing so I can have faith. Faith is a gift from Him. You have not because you ask not. So number one, ask. Father, please give me faith. Teach me to get faith. And I know faith comes by hearing. And I know how to get myself to hear. Because hearing comes by the rhema of Elohim. So, I sit down with your book, Father. And I pray to you, O oh, Abba, please open my eyes, open my ears, open my heart. Let me see, let me hear, let me understand. Um, give me your rhema. Let me learn what it means to hear so that I can get faith. And then you just um, spend time in his word. You know, it's also, you know, he loves to have our first fruits. Give him the first of your day. I mean, if he's going to be the number one on your list of one, make him, you know, the first. Get up in the morning, you know, maybe you're in a rush or on your way to work. Well, you're not in too much of a hurry to get a cup of coffee, are you? All right, you're having a cup of coffee? Take a minute. Open up to the book of Psalms. And, um, geez, how easy... Is it to read uh, just, you know, a little psalm? You don't have to read the whole chapter. You could just pick out, uh, you know, Psalm 69, verse 1 says, Save me, O Elohim, for waters have come up to my neck. I've sunk in deep mud, and there's no place to stand. I've come into deep waters, and the floods overflow me. I'm worn out from my crying. My throat is dry. My eyes grow dim as I wait for my Elohim. 
Man. My heart welled up just from reading that. What was that, like 20 seconds? You get to read that. Okay, it's, I read three verses. Well, you know, I'm still drinking my coffee. Let me read that again. And again. And uh, you do that every morning. Give him the first part of your day. Guaranteed, it won't be long. You're going to experience the rhema. One morning, you're going to be reading something and it's going to be like, whoa. <laughs> I think he wrote that just for me today. This Boy, this is speaking to my heart. Being, now you're going to experience the rhema. That is going to open up your ears and you will start gaining uh, the ability to hear spiritually and that will increase your faith. You don't need to uh, watch any particular evangelist every Tuesday night. You don't need to go to church every Sunday. These things are good to do uh, if your heart's in the right place. But really what you need to do is sit down with him. You and him. Him and you. <laughs> Faith doesn't come by hearing the word. Faith comes by hearing, spiritual hearing. And spiritual hearing comes by experiencing the rhema of Elohim. Shalom.